Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler's multi million dollar home rapidly depreciated in value, resulting in a much lower property tax bill. Now, no one can explain why, especially at a time when all of her neighbor's property values went up. She and her husband had pumped money into remodeling this extravagant mansion. And usually when you do that, the property value goes up. But I'll give you the details and you decide for yourselves if something shady is going on. Leffler and her husband, Jeffrey Spreacher, bought a 15,000 square foot Atlanta mansion known as Descante. For $10.5 million in 2009, the value of the estate as appraised by Fulton County government officials for the purpose of calculating annual property tax dues remained the same for the next seven years. But then something weird happened in 2016, the appraised value suddenly plunged to 4.15 million, a whopping 60% decline. So how does that translate to lower property tax? Well, property taxes, of course, are calculated based on the value of the home. And if the value of the home goes up, your property tax bill goes up. And if it goes down, of course, your property tax bill goes down. Now, originally they were paying Oh my God, $200,000 annually to the city and county governments in property taxes. Then in 2016, after their home's value dropped, they paid $90,000. Since then, the appraised value of their home has risen to roughly 5 million, but they're still paying about $80,000 less a year than they did when they first bought their home. Um, none of this makes sense, none of it, none of it. And so um, the Daily Beast is very careful to state that there's no evidence of wrongdoing. But even so, no one can answer why there was this sudden depreciation in uh, the home's value, especially when you know property values had have been going up. Like there's no reason to believe that the value actually depreciated. Did they like? Spill something that smelled really bad. Are they like breeding like exotic black fungus or something like that that got into the walls? Like I'm trying to think of some explanation. Underground dog fights or bull fights. I don't. It. You know. Look. You know a lot more about real estate than me. It sounds like a, a cool little con to pay less money. But the, there were a couple of other things I thought about. One that now once it was depreciated. The fact that it was $4 million, I, I am immediately thought, man, in LA, you're not getting 15,000 square feet for those $4 million. That's like a small house, basically, for $4 million. Um, yeah, and what then do you also. 15,000 square feet. No, I, I, I need to know. Look, I love, I love homes, I love architecture. Mm. Like, I, and it's not because I'm like, oh, I want to be rich and I want to live in a giant house. Like, I'm genuinely fascinated by architecture and real estate and like all of that, right? But why? Why do you need a 15,000 square foot home? Like, how many kids well, do they have? <laughs> do they have a billion kids? I don't know. Like, I don't know. why do you need that? Oh my God. Why do you need all of that, that? I don't understand. Is that I actually mean, from the I, home? I, I'm kind of into oh that pool. God. Like, I like the outdoor area. The outdoor area is fine. I'll take, but like that. Like, why do you need that? Why do you need I that? I feel like, oh, like every time you get out of your car, it's like a five minute walk to get into your house. Ugh, it's gonna be I so know. annoying. This is why you got, like, come on, get a car elevator, you poor bastard. <laughs> anyway, um, no, the better question. So, the, a good question is, why do you need a 15,000 square foot home? The better question is, why do you need a 15,000 square foot home when I guarantee they own at least five other homes? I like know. I doubt that's their only home. But um, yeah, and, and beside that, why do you need to save $100,000 in property taxes when you have $800 million to your name? That's so petty. God, the rich are like they are really like everybody's like, Scanning the stars for alien life. Just look at the nice neighborhoods. They are alien. They think in ways that don't make sense to actual humans. Like the pettiness. You know, I know that this is a little bit of a tangent, but we have a two hour show and I'm gonna indulge. Um, no, I, you mentioned rich neighborhoods or even not fabulously rich neighborhoods, just like well to do neighborhoods. I've noticed this trend and maybe it's not the case across the country, but it annoys me a lot because I like to go running and I like to go running in nicer neighborhoods. Of course, who wouldn't want to go to a nicer neighborhood to go for a run? They don't like to have sidewalks. 
So they don't have sidewalks. And then I looked into that and it's because they don't want the riffraff. They don't want people <laughs> like us. You know, mm-hmm. it's just they. I mean, look, I get it. I don't want people like me around where I live, but they're doing okay. They're doing okay. They're behind gates. What do they care if there's sidewalks outside of their castle? It's not within the moat. What's the difference? Well, let me give you more details on the types of renovations they did. Because again, let me reiterate, typically when you do renovations, that increases the value of your property, right? That's That's usually how people justify doing renovations that they can't even afford in a lot of cases. In this case, as you mentioned, Leffler and her husband are worth $800 million, so they can't afford it. In 2015, they spent nearly $90,000 to renovate the kitchen, $150,000 to construct a new greenhouse, and $125,000 on various outdoor improvements records filed with the city show. Well, at least they're getting the appropriate permits for these updates on their homes or on their home. Atlanta was also undergoing a real estate boom at the time that their property was randomly depreciated by millions of dollars. So again, this doesn't make any sense. And I do wanna give you a description of the home, even though you've seen some imagery. The seven bedroom home in Tuxedo Park. An exclusive subsection of the Tony Buckhead neighborhood features lush, spacious grounds. A garage portico imported from Spain, several Renaissance era European frescoes, and no fewer than nine antique fireplaces. But why? That's all. But why? There's like seven words in there I need to look up. I just looked up portico. They had to have that flown from one continent to another. There weren't any good porticos in America. It has, it has an airstrip. It has an airstrip yeah, because of yeah, course, like, well, I mean, like, what are they going to do? They're going to fly commercial. Sidewalks. Come on. Yeah, no, honestly, but I don't want like a long airstrip. I don't want the riffraff flying into my neighborhood. I just, <laughs> I don't. God, when you talked about the renovations, I just, <laughs> we don't eat enough rich people. We need to every once in a while just eat a few rich people because. Are you kidding me? They're eating us. We haven't eaten a single rich person. They're eating us all day. Like it's just, and look, I don't begrudge people for being successful. I, do. I don't think anyone needs to have that amount of wealth. Um, but this isn't like, oh, we're we're angry just because people are rich. It's she's, they're not paying their taxes. Like that, this should be investigated, right? Maybe there was a mistake. Maybe the appraisers made a mistake, right? Okay, let's look into this. Let's investigate it because clearly they're not paying the taxes that they should be paying on this property. So let's just let's just have them pay the appropriate taxes. And also, let's do a real investigation into the accusations of insider trading by Kelly Leffler. Because I'm sorry, an ethics committee in the Senate is not an appropriate investigation into possible insider trading. We're talking about a group of her peers who possibly also engage in insider trading, clearing her of any wrongdoing. Yeah, not buying it, sorry. Yeah, and you know, like, I mean, there's the possibility they paid off the appraiser or it's a possibility that if you try to talk to the local government and get them to look into it, they've probably donated to all of those politicians. And all of that added up is still gonna be cheaper for them than just paying their taxes and being a part of this society that has obviously given them so much. Portico, that's portico. it, I'm gonna- Spanish portico. Spanish portico. <laughs> oh, American porticos, I barely want a 15,000 square foot house if it's gonna be adorned thusly. I also have an antique fireplace. It's only antique because it's never been renovated since this place was built in the 1970s. Mm-hmm. And you literally can't find um, parts for it. And so it's really hard to repair it when I want to repair it. Anyway, um, but you know, antique, not a big deal. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.